the ball and he's been living in the block Goals are trying to make it, trying to make it to the top If you ain't working hard, when you get there you can drop But he just wants his money so he's busy sending rocks say too much i've said too much already i think that i've said enough and i ain't gonna speak come on so come up been rough hi guys welcome back to rants of riz hope you guys liked my video last week um today's video i'm gonna be going over the topic cheating and that's what i've actually been requested to do because a lot of people have experienced cheating um and and i'm gonna talk on that my situation what i've experienced so basically my ex-partner i was with him for six years and the relationship started off well everything was great um but as the relationship progressed we experienced a lot of like a lot of cheating like there was a lot going on in the relationship which is actually what caused the relationship to end um whilst we were together there was there was one female actually that I was like literally I was back and forth with a lot a lot because of cheating and those times I was young so those days it was like when I, every time I caught him out cheating I would like contact the girl when I'm like I'm turning up at the girl's house and I'm calling her on her phone and I'm texting leave my man alone all those things and I was back and forth doing that quite a lot like quite a lot there was even a point where um like i had messaged this girl so much times and went like kept giving her warnings and i kept saying to her listen you need to stop contacting my man stop messaging him stop saying you're aware of me and him so why are you still going there with him and she would say to me stuff like oh he told me you, you two aren't together and i'm just like what well, i told you were together and if a guy wants to get in your pants he's gonna say whatever come on we're all we're not stupid if a guy wants to get in a woman's pants he's gonna say whatever but if i'm constantly coming to you you are very aware why are you still going there down with that man so i kept messaging this girl telling her to stay away from my man stay away from my man and it got to the point where it was like I felt like this girl is taking me for a fool because I'm told you many times and you're still going back, you're still going back. So it got to the point where I felt like I had I had a point to prove, like I had to show her like I'm not stupid. So when I was in college this day and I've left, I've, I don't know how it went, so what, I think I got a phone call or something about the girl and I was just like, hold on, okay, so it's still carrying on. I remember I got her dress. And I finished kind of so I could not wait to finish. And somehow someone had told her that I was coming. I was on my way. I'm coming to her house. So she started sending that like, her mum, her mum actually got involved in the situation. I was sending threats to to me through other people. If I come to her house, this is gonna happen. That's gonna happen. And obviously now, that's even what that's got, I've got even more worked up. Like, hold on, her big old oversized mum that should be telling her she shouldn't be there with another woman's man is now getting involved and threatening me. Anyways, I've got the address now. I remember I went after college and I went turned up at her house, and like we had we went back and forth from there that situation, and um. It was so it was that that was very eventful we can just only imagine what happened like once i got to the house um and from there in the end like after that situation it, it, it never stopped it carried on they still stayed there with each other involved with each other and that's what i felt like i must be stupid didn't I? I mean i must be so from then i never ever i never contacted her, contacted her again because in, in these situations, whilst you're in it, you're not you're not you're not thinking. You kind of you kind of go dumb. It's only after when you look back you think it's it wasn't the girl. Yeah, it was the girl because she's still she's staying there, my man. What he's also going back. Do you know what I mean? And he's obviously whatever he's saying to her, he's feeding it to her, and she's believing what, what believing what he's saying. And do you know what I mean? So I was that there was another girl. Basically, I had an issue with my ex partner. Every job this guy got there was a new girl he's talking to literally every job he got and it got to the point where i didn't even want him to work literally any job he found a girl somehow he found a girl to 
to be involved with i don't have to be calling their phones and i was so in, i was very insecure for him even going to work and i'm like it shouldn't be that way why do you use your job as an excuse to like start speaking to a female and um the way that our relationship broke down what he was when um he got he started this job and he met this girl and when he met this girl um at that time i was pregnant i was actually pregnant actually and he started to do things like not return home and all these things and um it was just like what's what's that like, you know you can just tell something's not right with your partner so i remember there was this one day i said to him okay whatever go out have fun with your friends whatever but as long like because i was heavily pregnant i could go into labor at any time like i said as long as you if i call you you answer your phone because anything could happen and then two as long as you return home tonight like because he started to do stuff when he was staying out i never used to do that before don't think not too long after his, he left i tried to test the guy and i tried to call him did he answer his phone no cool that was that now i left it did the guy even return home that night i said two things you know which i think was so fair enough he didn't return home either and i thought you know what there's something going on here isn't it so from there i remember from them me and this guy like he he said he said he can't he couldn't take it no more he took his stuff he left whatever our relationship broke down to that for me to then find out he moved out of my house, then moving with this girl. I got in a whole new relationship with this girl. Yeah, a whole new relationship. So all along, he was seeing this girl from his workplace. That's why he was returning home, not answering his calls, doing all these things. And then laying on the line now. Yep, I took him back, came back again. Please believe I got engaged to the guy, a whole engaged. To then find out the guy was still cheating with the girl. Like, literally, still. Why would you go out of your way to put a ring on my finger to then, if you know you're not serious, like to still. Be, why? Like, this is the questions that I need to answer. Now, why do men feel they need to do these things? Why do you feel they need to cheat? Because no one asks you. You won't, like, no, you don't have to be in a relationship with someone. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't commit to something to then. To, if you're not serious, if you're not ready to commit, do you know what I mean? A relationship is a serious thing, it's something you need to be committed to. And if you're not ready for that commitment, why would you put why would you want to put someone through that? Do you know what I mean? I was back and forth, back and forth with this guy for years. We could imagine it was six years, and he was constantly, constantly cheating. And I used to sit down and talk to him, like, what is the problem? Do you know what I mean? Like, why do you feel the need to be constantly cheating, cheating, cheating? What is it? And when you ask them these questions, they don't have the answers. So what is it? But ladies, just a piece of advice from me, from someone that's been through cheating, I've been through it all. There's no situation that anyone's been in when it comes to that, that like I ain't been in because I've been back and forth, back and forth with it, yeah. And now that I've moved on from the situation and talking on it, I, will, I don't want to see no one. I would not like to see no one in that situation. I would advise my friends, anyone, if your man, if your man is cheating, move because the minute he the minute he knows that you're gonna accept it and you're gonna you're gonna he's allowed to get away with it he ain't gonna stop doing it i tell you that for a fact that man is gonna keep giving you fun you don't want that make sure you pick up yourself and you show him you're serious you know what i mean you're going you're not, you're not taking that and another thing don't be don't be that girl that's calling off calling off the girl's phone and yeah come and meet me all these things hyping up to a girl Darling, your man is in the wrong. That's where I didn't realise. I was taking it out more on the females than I was on my own man. So he, he's he's feeling like he's the man now. Do you know what I mean? Because two these girls are going back and forth over him, and he ain't really getting it much. Do you know what I mean? So he's, do you know what I mean? He's he can do what he wants. Like I'm the man. Don't give their man no no chance to feel like that. To feel like you're gonna these girls are fighting over him. No, if anything, you and the girl together go and show him something. Both for you two tag team. Yeah, we're both leaving. You're not gonna you're gonna end up with none now. Yeah, don't stay there because 
you're worth more than that know you've got to know your worth and know what you deserve and there's trust me there's plenty more men out there in the world that will treat you better and treat you the way you need to be treated like don't ever feel stuck. I know sometimes, a lot of times, you love the man and you feel like, because I love him, I want to stay and I want to ride it through with him. And you hear all these these stories of people like Keisha and Gucci and how they stayed through this and they've made it. And you think, a lot of people think that's the way, that's how it's supposed to be. A woman is supposed to stay through all these things in order for them to be real. Really? No. It don't go like that. You don't have to put up with bullshit. You don't have to put up with all that for you to be considered as a real woman. Do you know what I mean? A real woman ain't going to stay and lower themselves to be treated in a way that they don't need to be treated. Do you know what I mean? Like, a real man, in fact, is going to value you to respect you enough not to be putting you through that. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's not how, that's not what love is. That's not what love is at all, at all. So when I'm telling you about cheating, I'm talking to you about cheating, I'm talking from my heart, from ex experience yeah and that's me coming out of something knowing my worth in order to not accept something so just you just gotta know what you want for yourself and stand up for yourself as a woman and just don't accept nothing you don't need to accept from no man that's it's literally as simple as that um that's it for today. I'm going to go now. Make sure you like, you subscribe and you comment. And if you guys got any like ideas of any sort of rants you want me to do in my next video, upcoming videos, make sure you comment so I can have a look at your comments and what you would like me to talk about. His brother's move as a pack, his raps. If any of the ops get adjacent, I spoke to him. He said his ops got a weapon, it's Pete, bro. So you know when I bought me mine, I ain't gonna say too much, bro. Listen to my song when it drops, it's called story time. Story time.